Hey kids, this is Hex Ray Vision, aka Pulse Ray Vision, or as a lot of people just call me Max. And I'm coming to you live from Quattro Cinco Studios in my mom's basement, as always. Uh, we've got a pretty cool um, show for you guys today. We're going to be talking about the Pulse Chain Tour. We're also going to be covering a product called Carpe Diem. So um, I'm going to let my, my guests uh, introduce themselves clockwise in case you don't know them or where they're from. They can tell how they ended up here in crypto land and what they're up to. So go ahead, Sili. Yeah, so I am uh, Sili, and my real name is Silvan Likiguata. Um, and Sili is just a short abbreviation of it. And I am from Europe, uh, Netherlands, and Switzerland. And I am the founder of Carpe Diem Pension. Uh, it's a, yeah, a, in my knowledge, the first pension fund on the blockchain uh, and also on Pulse Chain. Uh, I have been a hexagon since early 2020. So uh, I actually bought the um, the all-time low or I was three days off or something like that. So uh, I was pretty, pretty lucky with that. I learned a lot in my uh, years um, being in the crypto space. And, um, I have took those lessons and tried to uh, um, apply things to my project. Very, oh, you're muted, bro. Oh. All right. Hey, so uh, Vets and Crypto, what's up, everybody? Glad to be here and honor and apply privilege. So thank you. Um, you can catch me on Vets Crypto on X and Vets in Crypto with the C on YouTube. Um, you know, started mining in 2017, um, lost kind of in and out of track about crypto. And then, you know, between uh, RH and uh, the Hexologist, uh, you know, found my way into the Hex community. Um, you know, first step one is build your staking ladder. And that was complete. And then we got our copy over on Pulse Chain. And, you know, let's uh, have some fun in crypto world now. You know, that's what it's all about. So that is my story. And I'm going to stick to it. Uh, Marine Corps veteran, did four years, got in, got out. Um, and uh, that's what we talk about over on my channel as well. So awesome. Great. And how about you, Kaylin? All right. Uh, I go by Black Hexkin on Twitter and Instagram and all these social media platforms. But as most of you who have met me in person know, my name is Kaylin. Uh, for the last three years, I have been touring the US and a little bit of Europe, um, putting on these cryptocurrency events, uh, a lot of educational events, but also a mix of social events. I brought my here, my my teammate here, SJ a Wild SJ, <laughs> uh, because she is also on the Pulse Chain tour uh, with me. And since we were going to be talking about the tour, I thought she would provide some awesome insight as well. Awesome, awesome. And uh, left. Um, yeah. Hi. Um, well, my name is even more complicated than Cindy's. It's uh, Elefterios Giacomakis. So I just go by left. Um, well, I'm a blockchain developer, um, almost five years now, four and a half. Um, it's been very exciting being a developer and seeing stuff from a developer perspective. Um, so I ended up here because I'm a serious developer and uh, I hope to be for a long time. Um, I really like C, he's a very good uh, owner. You know, the, I've met many clients, but C is very, uh, you know, fair and uh, he has a good uh, vision and you know, try to stick with him. Um, well, I have a bit history with Hex. I bought the first days, but uh, I just sold it the next one, so I regret it. Um, so I've tried to stick to the Pulse Chain. Um, yeah, nice to meet you all. And yeah, awesome. Yeah. And, and so you're the the dev for Carpe Diem, and you've been working with Sealy, right? Yeah, that's right. Um, I made the contract, and uh, I have the UI integration and the. Uh, I'm helping with odds and bugs and anything needs. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. And uh, Wild SJ appears in the lower left corner. Go ahead and let people know who you are in case they don't know you already. 
Sure. Hey, everybody. I am Awa SJ, and I have been around these parts since the bear market began. I was born in the bear market. It's all I know. <laughs> I heard there's something called a bull market, but um, I, I have yet to see that. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, I'm most well known in the community for having done uh, the audiobook of Richard Hart's book, Sci Vive as well as his other book, 15 Ways to Fix the World. And like my lovely cohort over here said, uh, we are now on a mission to uh, fix the money, fix the world, and uh, tell everyone that Hex is better than Bitcoin <laughs> with uh, Captain RG3 at the helm of this uh, Pulse Chain tour. Uh, yeah, the three of us go around and you know get to talk about how awesome DeFi is and how it really can be life-changing. So that's what I do. Awesome. Thank you for introducing yourself. We've got uh, Vets in Crypto also in the chat. Uh, on, on Unit Unidef 369 uh, me. Tell people to like, subscribe, don't forget. Uh, and we've got um, Pay Me Hex says, let's go. She says, while it SD in the house and fast to this. I like the name change, by the way. Pulse, pulse Ray Vision. Very nice. Right, right. Yeah, it's a work. It's a work in progress. <laughs> I'll yeah. just say that. <laughs> uh, Hex Ray Chick has been secretly going behind, like behind me, and like changing it back to Hex Ray Vision. <laughs> she's she's pissed about all the money we spent on T-shirts and stickers. So oh. I mean, I don't, Hex Ray Vision doesn't have quite the ring to because it's like X Ray Vision, but Hex yeah, that's that was the. Yeah. I mean, maybe but, do a fire sale and liquidate some of the stock, you know? Well, maybe she won't be as pissed, you know? I was told they, they will, they'll eventually become collector's items, right? Like, I can yeah. sign them, then they'll be made again. I don't know. We'll, hey, you can we'll make an NFT out. out of them. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did mod some of the people here in chat, so check check your pocket. You probably got a shiny wrench there. You're part of my Ooh. wrench army now. And I know what you guys are thinking, is that Liberace stunt double? No, it's not. I wanted to wear the most Pulse Chain party shirt I could find. And so this seemed pretty apt for talking about what's going down in Vegas. Um, so I'm going to turn this over to to Kaylin and let her talk about what's going on. It's, I mean, what is it, T minus nine days now? Yeah, 10 days, I believe. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. So first, you're going to have to, you know, wash that shirt and bring it to Vegas because what else would you wear to the Pulse Chain party? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, we can get into it. Maybe if you want to uh, share the PulseChainTour.com website for all of you out there, if you want to get tickets or get information, definitely visit PulseChainTour.com. Uh, is Max frozen? Yeah, I, I'm frozen, but it's, every time I try to share my screen, I got to restart my camera. So here, I got I got this up for you, and I'll, I'll work on changing my uh, screen. But go ahead. All right. So I don't know if you can enlarge um, just like one side of the screen a little bit to be able to show like the events real close. Um, yeah. The first event is on Wednesday. Yeah, that'd be great. And then you can scroll down. I'll wait for you. So yes, the first event that we have a part of our amazing three-day weekend or week, because huh, it starts on Wednesday <laughs> in Vegas, is the Pulse Chain Tour Top Golf Meetup. Uh, I personally love Top Golf. Uh, it's the perfect like adult atmosphere as far as like good food, drinks, and then a little bit of activity. Um, so we have some private bays rented out. We also have a private section rented out. Um, so even if you're not into the whole golf part, there will still be plenty of things for you to do, socialize, network, eat, drink, have a merry old time. This event, I believe, is down to only four tickets left. Uh, so I do expect this one to sell out. So if you don't already have your tickets to Top Golf. I would hop on that one ASAP. Um, the next event, if you want to scroll down. Yes, 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 is Thursday. So we have two opportunities for Thursday. Uh, Thursday will, is what we consider our VIP day, where I have crafted out a whole day of activities. I'm not going to explain exactly what those activities are. 
Uh, they're confidential, <laughs> but I can tell you that it is a great day of planned fun, meals, all food, all drinks, everything included. Uh, there is only one ticket left for this VIP Thursday. So unfortunately, if you are coming with your spouse and you want to do this, we don't have a, a set of two left. But yeah, we have a really great group here. I don't want to expose anybody, but you're definitely missing out if you're not hanging out with this crowd. This is, I'll be there. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is a top notch <laughs> group of uh, of community members, I must say. But what you can do if you're not going to participate in this whole VIP Thursday, uh, we have two different events, and you'll see them if you scroll down, that also happened on that Thursday where you can come and meet up with the VIPs. Uh, one is the karaoke. That's the last event that we have of the night. And you can scroll down um, hex or pulse ray if you want. Um, so yes, yeah, so this is another thing. Like let's say that you have nothing to do on Thursday. We have a Hexican tattoo artist. He goes by the name of Hexican Tattooer on Twitter. And he has rented out a room in the link to be able to do ta tattoos. Uh, so you can also book your appointment with him on our website. But in addition to that, the next event down is the karaoke event. Uh, so that is the last event of our VAP day, but it's opened up to everybody. If you want to come and hear RG3 sing like a pirate or rock and roll. I don't know what it is that he's going to do, but I do know that he will be singing. <laughs> so, <laughs> nice. That you are interested in, I would definitely come through for this karaoke meetup on Thursday night. Uh, so then we roll on to Friday. Um, the next event, if you want to scroll down again, is the seminar. And to me, I mean, like every event that we do on this Pulse Chain Tour has its own like theme. It has its own variation of speakers. Um, but this being Vegas, knowing that we were going to have a lot of support for this event, we really wanted to make this event special. So to me, this is probably one of the best seminars like lineup wise that we've ever had. Uh, so if you want to go into the event and go to details, we can actually look at the schedule of what all is going to be happening at this seminar. At seminar. Yeah, it's a it's a full day event. You'll probably have to uh, shrink um, it back up now. Out. Yeah, a little bit. That's probably good. There and then go. go down to where it says schedule. Yep, right there and click view all or see all. Yeah. So the first part of our day in a, outside of just registration and meet and greet is going to be a Pulse Chain Pitch Fest. We partnered with the Pulse Chain Foundation. They are putting up the funds for the winner. Uh, they actually put up $2,500. And then Ben Armstrong, our winner of our carry, what did he do? Like karate fight the other night. <laughs> he, put up, uh, he matched it with another $2,500. So now the prize for this Pitch Fest is actually $5,000, which I think is, is really great for our first event. Um, so we have five different projects that have either already launched and in like the very introductory phase of their project or have yet to launch and would like to launch on Pulse Chain that will be pitching their project to a panel of judges. Uh, and then they'll just, the judges will decide a winner. Uh, after the pitch fest, we have the Better Than Bitcoin uh, session by Captain RG3. Uh, followed by a RH ecosystem talk by our RH Max. Uh, then right before our lunch period, we'll do some raffles, giveaways. You can keep scrolling down. Uh, when we come back from lunch, we have um, Pulse Domains. If you guys aren't aware, uh, he is responsible for Pulse Domains. The, our, you know, you could be blackhexican.pulse like me or, you know, whatever it is, .pulse. Uh, just like the Dot ETH ones. And he does an amazing, amazing overview of all the different uh, utilities and projects that have launched on Pulse Chain and like their comparison projects, you know, for example, uh, Uniswap versus PulseX or whatever it may be. He really tries to give you some perspective as to what all has been built on Pulse Chain. Uh, after, Pulse, after Pulse Domains, uh, the reason why I wore my hat today uh, is for Axis Alive, because when I tell you 
this community, his community of Axicans or the boardroom, whatever it is that they call themselves, they have supported this event like no other. I want to hear, I want to say that they told me that their community is coming like 30 deep to this event. Hell and, yeah, we are. <laughs> and I, I know that a lot of other people are coming, but I haven't seen one, you know, like community within the community, like stand up as much as they have and said, hey, we're, we're getting behind this. We're going to be there in large numbers. Uh, so big shout out to Axis Alive. And you already know he always brings the alpha. So I'm really excited to hear uh, his talk. And then after him, we have the Kings of Las Vegas, uh, Dollar Cost Crypto, and Charlie, also known as Cultivate Crypto. They will be doing their talk, uh, followed by two different panels of live AMA. On the first panel, if you click view more, I believe it'll say their names. Uh, crypto Coffee, Dollar Cost, Cultivate Crypto, and Access Live. And then in the second panel, it's Ben Armstrong, RG3, and that TBA, I need to update that, is actu actually Donovan uh, Jolly, I believe is how you say his name. Uh, he also, you might know his YouTube channel by DIY, DIY Investing. And so, yeah, we have a, a great, great lineup. Uh, I love seeing some of these larger crypto um, streamers, influencers starting to like not only just talk about Pulse Chain, but want to be involved in the in live, like the community, wanting to come out and support these events to really get Pulse Chain, um, you know, going viral, get it on the map. So that's the seminar. Uh, we do have a private dinner right after the seminar. Unfortunately, those tickets are already sold out. Um, so can't, can't get that one if you don't already have your tickets to that, but you can join us for the after party, which we rented out a private club. It's called club ego. Uh, we have a live DJ, we have open bar. Um, it's, it's a beautiful club that I actually really, really like. So I think it's going to be a great event for us. And then after all of that, all of that activity and fun, there's nothing left to do but to try to recover at brunch. <laughs> so we are having a recovery brunch at the Caesars Palace uh, Buffet. It is one of the most um, recognized, one of the most popular buffets in Las Vegas as far as like the quality of a buffet. Um, because of the style and how much more they charge um, when you do an actual group as far as service fees and built-in gratuity, we thought we would try and save people some money and and not actually, you know, rent out a whole section within the buffet. But if you want to meet us there at 12 o'clock, then we can try and all get in there together and try and get tables together. So that's kind of how we're going to do that one, just to try to help people's pockets a little bit with this last event. And is am I am I correct in thinking that there's all you can eat crab? Yes. There is all you can eat crab at the Caesar's Palace buffet. Yes. <laughs> That's what we're talking about. Great, great question, SJ. <laughs> Very important. Put a, put a plus one in chat if you guys are going to be in Vegas. And also put a plus two in chat if you're going to be in Salt Lake. You've got Salt Lake coming up next month on April 13th as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. We actually just published this event today. You can see this beautiful building. It is a, work, a Web3 co-working space. Uh, so Nerd United is hosting us in that event. I'm really excited about that event as well because we're going to cover some topics that we haven't previously covered. Um, I, if you guys know Dracatis from Tang Talk Wireless, he's going to be one of the speakers at that event. So we're going to be diving a bit into NFTs. We're going to be diving a bit into AI technology. Uh, it's, it's really going to be vast Web3 uh, technology and whatnot. So I'm really looking forward to that Utah event as well. Awesome. Awesome. And we've got quite a few celebrities hanging out here in chat. Of course, Vast Abdul. RG3 hasn't got tickets yet. The <laughs> Xclips is in the house. Crypto Coffee, Red Squirrel, Bitfinesse. I haven't seen you for a while, man. It's really good to see you. Uh, that's in Crypto, Alex P., uh, JB's in the house. Things are getting exciting. And of course, um, Fast Abdul says he's a 0.5 considering. <laughs> we find we find your lack of faith disturbing. 
What kind of bribes do I need to Commit, commit, bro. Right? Right. And then and I, RG says he he saw SJ's eyes when she heard she can eat ocean bugs. <laughs> <laughs> I see RG wants me to mention the fact that um, Tang Talk Wireless has supported the tour by giving us a number of Tang Talk Wireless NFTs that we'll be giving away on the tour. So we will be giving away one in Vegas, one in Utah, and, you know, the other events. So... I just that, that's something if you want to go back to the home page I actually want to recognize all these different contributors yeah. who have supported the Pulse Chain tour um just go to the home button if you can and then it's going to be on the left side and you can just scroll down right under organizers look at RG reminding of us to do things right yeah right under the organizers keep going down yeah so Discourse Syndicate, KSB TV, we still have Pulse and PulseX that they donated that we're giving away, Pulse Chain Foundation, Hex Toys, RPE, as some of you guys know, Brian Magruder, Tank Talk, um, Make It Miriam, Hex Fashion, Hex Merch, Aussie's Greatest, Side Effects. I mean, all these people have wow. given something to the tour for us to be able to give away at these events and and that generosity that support of the tour it means so much to us uh, because we don't really make money off these events like we're very happy when we break even on these events <laughs> so if we had to spend that much more money on swag you know to give away and for swag bags and all those kind of things that would really be you know um uh, another you know issue for us or whatnot so much appreciated to those guys. Um, I think uh, we should also, while we're here, talk about our tour NFTs. And so that's why I wanted to bring SJ on so she could kind of go over that. She is our lead artist uh, when it comes to our NFTs and all of our NFTs go to support our tour. So if you click on the NFTs tab, that, that little button up there, then uh, I'll pass the mic over to SJ. Yeah. Can I have a question first? Sure. Uh, how many tickets are left for the seminars? Uh, for the seminar, I want to say last time I checked, there were 20 tickets left to the seminar. Yeah, so it's, to me, it seems like the most interesting uh, part. So uh, guys, <laughs> get the tickets for the seminars. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> the seminar is also where we had the largest capacity. So it's really impressive that our biggest event while out there is is that close to being sold out what are we looking at like uh, 150 seats or what's the number what's the capacity 120. okay awesome man good job yes excellent and and i'm i'm just gonna throw my two cents in i've been to s several events uh that black hexkin has hosted along with sj and everybody and there's nothing better than the in real life meetups. So especially like she touched on, this one's going to be a, a special one. This is one of those that you do want to try to make the effort to get there. Even if it's a day, you know, you're like, you can't get the top golf, at least fr fly in Thursday night or something, be there for the seminar, you know, meet and greet. It, it goes a long way. So. Yep. Yeah, for sure. And if you can't, if for some strange reason, we're not going anywhere near where you are or you just don't want to leave your home ever. <laughs> There's another way to support the tour and that is through these NFTs. So when this idea first started getting talked about, uh, I was already dabbling in AI art. I have a background in photography and, you know, I thought, well, if we're going to do this, let me try and like take a stab at, you know, putting together some art for these NFTs and, slowly like the ideas kind of started to come together and I wanted to feature each location with each NFT and they've really kind of taken off in terms of the creativity behind them. So the way that the NFT, um, the what you're looking at right now, so our Pulse Chain Tour NFT collection, that's the um, flagship collection, I guess is a way that you could put it. And anyone who comes to one of these events, if you buy a ticket to our event, um, usually it's, it's a seminar or Kaylin remind me cause it's, I know it's every seminar, but then like top golf is getting one too. Right. So like, yeah, it's like we're trying to do them for every single event. If, if you bought a ticket at some point, then you will get a NFT. 
Um, so even if, you know, like the karaoke event, even if it doesn't have its own special NFT, then we'll give you the Las Vegas NFT. So any event ticket that you purchase, you are guaranteed to get uh, an NFT. Um, if you click on that tour collection button, because we have two different collections, so then that can kind of show you and as she talks us through a little bit more about this loyalty program NFT that we do. Yeah, so, uh, you know, kudos to Kaylin who came up with the the way that this works because really what it is is there are there's so many people i mean jake you know bets here for example is someone that has come and i'm i believe max as well uh we've had multiple people come to multiple events you know last year we did 10 different stops i think and you know this year we're doing i think maybe more than that <laughs> um so if you have let's say like you came to several events last year and you you're planning to go to a few this year you may already qualify for one of these upgrades so for example, the classic NFT, right? You and there's different ways to go about this, right? Like, let's just say you you already went even even though this probably isn't anyone that's done this yet, but let's just say you went to ten events already, and you've gotcha. got one of these NFTs for every um, event that you went to. You could technically have um, you can buy wait wait yeah, yeah, yeah collect ten classic NFTs and receive a free gold NFT. So you see that the way the loyalty program works is that it stacks. Right? Um, and you can also, if you don't, you know, if you are just interested in maybe getting the gold NFT or the rare NFT because of what value that they have behind them, you can buy like the, the artwork. I'm still putting out the artwork for the NFTs from last year. Right. So that's kind of a, a little bit of a slower process. But if you wanted one of these benefits of the more high quality NFT or the more high value NFTs, you could just buy 10 of the Houston NFTs or 10 of the, you know, gold Cali NFTs because they're already available to you. And then you would be able to qualify, for example. OK, so this is super exciting. We just had our first rare NFT purchase and I love what we're doing with this rare NFT. So first of all, the rare NFT looks cool. Like it's 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 definitely rare looking. Um, it's really exciting uh, to me as the artist who you know got to put this all together. And you can scroll um, down and see some of the NFTs. They're not still loading. That's just a yeah. Yeah. So go ahead and keep keep scrolling until you see the rare one, and I'll talk kind of talk about how how that one works. So basically, um, someone purchased the rare NFT. There it is. And what we're doing for this rare. Uh, edition NFT is you receive one free VIP admission to one of the events. Um, one, and this is the cool, to me, this is the coolest part. One rare tour swag bag with custom items. Y'all, this is one of a kind customized items specifically for you. Like the one we just did, we're going to um, present this. Yeah, in Vegas. And y'all will get to see, like, I did I did a little bit of a deep dive. I don't know. I mean, we might kind of do something a little along these lines for everyone, but I really wanted to just kind of like go all in with this person and like find out a lot about them because they've been a big supporter of ours in the past as well. So I, you know, I asked about favorite colors and quotes and, you know, I, I kind of pulled some information out from them about their personality and some things that they like. So I cannot wait to see the look on this person's face when they receive this swag bag that has one of a kind customized hex and pulse chain items in it. Uh, it is going to be, I don't know, it's, it's really exciting to me um, to see. So to answer that question, yes, um, it is retroactive. So if you did go to an event in the past, you can go to, um, if, you, if you hover on the NFT um, button up there, you should see claim or redeem. So if you've come to an event in the past and you want to redeem one of the NFTs, you can do that. Um, like I said, I'm still working on the art. So the only one we have that's ready to go from last year so far is Dublin. Um, and I'm going to kind of work my, keep working my way, my way through those. Now that I've finished with um, that, doing the rare one of a kind swag bag uh, really took priority because <laughs> we wanted to make sure that we had that for Vegas. So now that that's out of the way, I'm going to kind of get back to the grind in terms of turning out those older NFTs. Um, but it's been, it's been great. Like, I think that this is a really cool way for anyone to support the tour again and, and for us to, you know, show our appreciation to anyone who has been 
um, someone who's come to these events. And, you know, it's like it's a very reciprocal type loyalty program we've got going on here. Um, and then the ultra rare, we'll just we'll just mention that real quick because we're here because we might as well. The ultra rare NFT. If you are crazy enough to, <laughs> like, you know, want to have your own Pulse chain. Let's just say you live in the middle of Kansas and no one's ever going to come to your tiny little town. You know what? We will come to your tiny little town if you buy this ultra rare NFT. That's what's going to happen. So, <laughs> so the ultra rare NFT, a team member of your choice, uh, will come out and host a Pulse Chain Tour seminar, meetup. What are we calling it? Event. We'll Event. decide. As yeah. With the person. Yeah. Yep. Um, so it is going to be really fantastic to see, uh, how that works out. I mean, the person who's, who just bought the rare NFT has, has said they're toying with the idea of the ultra rare and we're, we're only going to do, we do one of those at a time. So we may, I mean, we may only do one, but who knows? Like if we have enough time during the year, if someone buys that early enough, we might have time to do two of the ultra rare NFTs and come to two little tiny towns in the middle of nowhere. You never know. <laughs> you never know. Yeah. So yeah, um, as Ashley was saying, buying our NFTs are a way to support the tour, even if you can't be there. It's also a loyalty program where you get one for your attendance. You can trade them, or not necessarily trade them because you keep your NFTs, but you can come to the website. You can say, hey, this is my address. I have 10. I would like a free ticket to the next event, blah, blah, blah. Uh, those details are on the website as far as how many you need to have and what you can trade for, what you can get out of uh, your collection. Um, and then another way that you can kind of tune into the tour, uh, if you can't make it in person to the event, is you can sign up, you can subscribe to our website and get access to the live stream. Uh, we live stream in Houston and that went really, really well. And we're gonna live stream. We're gonna live stream in all the events that we can, uh, but for sure we'll also be live streaming in Las Vegas for that event if you can't make it in person. So that's another way that you can be a part of the event, even if you are in Europe or somewhere where you know that you're not going to make it in person, but you still really want to access that quality content um, from these very awesome, amazing speakers that we have in this community. Uh, so that's just another thing to touch on. Uh, we didn't really touch on the uh, collaborative um, uh, mm -hmm. NFTs that we do. Um, a big part of the Pulse Chain tour is the fact that Pulse Chain is made up of very, very many projects, contributors, you know, all across the landscape, right? Uh, so we didn't want it just to be, you know, RG3, SJ, Black Hexkin. No, we wanted this to be about the whole community. Uh, so at various events, not only do we bring in all these different speakers, uh, but sometimes you'll see different projects come in. And, and do their own giveaway in Houston. Uh, we gave away some Texan, right? We did this collaborative NFT between the Texan community and the Pulse Chain Tour on the tab that says NFTs uh, collabs, right? If, if you have, uh, I love that NFT because uh, it has rags on it. <laughs> Just scroll down, I think it's the second one. It might be the first one. No, it's the first one, my bad. You gotta let that load. But uh, anyway, so we do these collaborative NFTs so that we can incorporate other communities. And then with the sale of these NFTs, we do something that supports both communities. So for this one, we took half of the proceeds. We market bought Texan. So that supports their community, their price. And then we use that Texan to give away at the Houston event. Uh, and it ended up going to somebody who had no Texan. So now they have a brand new user, a brand new person within their community. Uh, so we love these collaborative NFTs. Th this is the second one we did. We did one with Tang Gang. Now we're doing this. We just did this one with Texan. And we're hoping that before every event, we do another collaborative NFTs. And again, shout out to SJ, the work, the art that she's putting into these NFTs, they stand alone, right? Like people should just want to buy that NFT. And this one actually sold out. It minted all the way out in like three or four days or something like that. Um, but all these NFTs have their own little special benefits. Like this one, there's a monthly draw of NFT holders to receive a airdrop of Texan token. Uh, for the Tang Gang one, 
there are, you know, first access to another NFT that will come out. So all these NFTs within the collab collection have their own special benefits that are totally separate from the loyalty NFTs. So whoo, I think that covers it. I don't want to like monopolize your whole stream <laughs> talking about Pulse Chain Tour, but we, we really this year, we really tried to provide as much value as we could. Um, we listened to the community. A lot of people were saying, you know, how can I be involved? If you're not coming to my city, if you're not coming to my country, uh, we are going to Europe this summer. So that's something that's like really big for us. Uh, we partner with KSB. So KSB is going to be doing a number of events in Europe. They're going to Amsterdam, Berlin, Munich. We're doing a cruise that goes out of Venice. Uh, then uh, RG3 is going to come in uh, towards the end of, of those six weeks. And he's going to also be putting on some events, one in London. I hear he might go to Portugal. So there's just uh, a lot of things going on and we'll continue to um, make updates to the website as, as those events are locked in. So. Woo. I have uh, I have a question. Yes. Uh, so I'm working on uh, the uh, claim and the redeem and claim section on the website. Yes. Um, so I only see like the two, uh, Irvine and Dublin, I'm sure are those going to, yes. for, for people that want to submit for retro pet previous yeah. events. So we, we, we don't want to get ahead of ourselves and have a, a bunch of information before we can actually deliver you the NFT. So as soon as the, the NFT is created and ready to be sent out, then that's when your city will be listed available to claim. So as soon as the Seattle or Portland or whatever NFT you're looking for is ready, then then your city name will be added to the list and then you'll be able to claim and redeem that. I like quick turnaround. So when somebody presses that claim button, yeah. I don't want them to have to wait another month to receive it. Um, yeah. So I only put it on there as I'm ready to be able to, to send them to you. Solid, man. Yeah, like usual. Yep. <laughs> Awesome. We've got um, uh, we did, more people here in the chat. RG3 showing up and talking about a cookout here, seminar and cookout with Chef Captain RG3. Did yeah, he's saying that. Elaborate on that. He's saying if you buy that ultra rare NFT, uh, then maybe that's the type of event that you would do. We all, if, if you've spent any like time, personal time with RG, you know he can throw down in the kitchen. He can make some really really good tacos you know he's a grill master uh so he's saying hey you buy that ultra rare he comes to your house and, and maybe does a cookout for you just an idea of, of what you could do with that that personal meetup that's awesome. amazing cool and uh 007 mccrypto says world tour is badass and then yeah. uh it says always f in london lol I don't know where Red Squirrel's at, but apparently it's not in London. They want us to go somewhere else in the UK. Then you have to tell us where you want us to go yeah. in, the, in the UK. Because we're buying that ultra rare NFT, right? We're going to be circling the, the the Europe, you know, space. So if there's somewhere else in Europe that I didn't list that you want us to come, and you think that you know there's a good amount of of community members in that area, let us know. Send us an email, and, and we'll see if we can work it in. Cool. Cool. And as someone that, like, uh, I had a, a blast, both me and my wife had a blast in Austin. We, you know, we helped, we helped bury some bodies and make some, some special friendships there afterwards. It was, <laughs> yeah. it was a good time, a really good time. And you, when else do you get to hang out with KG and Walrus on the street, like yeah. talking shop and just hearing all about what they've got going on. It's, it's like a special, it's like a special access but everyone is there that you have been chatting with on X. Everyone's there that you've been in groups with on Telegram. Everyone, all the YouTubers, if they can make it, are going to be there. You know. So if you have any, if you want like inside scoop, inside knowledge, and maybe some conversations that are hard to have, uh, not at IRL, the, this is the place to be. It's it, there's like a magic that happens at the meetups for sure. So. Thank you very, very much. And uh, like I said, I, I'll be down there. I've got my room at the link, so I'll be there. Uh, I haven't looked at many of those events, but it sounds like the, some of the good ones are sold out. So 
<laughs> I'll have to, Bro, I'll you're to, killing me. Come on. I'm going to sneak into the like the servant's entrance or something and wear a apron. <laughs> a French There'll be a waiter there. coming in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'll be I'll be carrying the shrimp too and the the, the crab to wild SJ. That's what I'll be doing. Thank you. Nice. nice. <laughs> There's always one man, I tell you. And RGC yeah. says special friendships. It's it's weird that you put that in all caps. <laughs> <laughs> but I I think I get it. And compassion says we'll just walk the streets. Well, uh, you can make good money in Vegas walking the streets. It says, try it. Don't try it. Black X will drop you. <laughs> it's true. He knows it. He knows it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this event's getting kind of big. I mean, I might have to hire a little security. I'm like this five foot two nothing standing at the door. Like, where's your ticket? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. everyone's got your back. Could be rolling deep. Bull run moves right there. Yeah. Hires a bodyguard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with us. Like I said, I'm I'm definitely going and uh want to get this information out there. Um, I'll try to make a clip of some of the highlights here and, and release that too, so that pops up on other people's YouTube feed. Um, but uh going shifting gears now, um, I was on another tech talk and Hex clips popped up in the um, comments and said, I know of a stealth launched product that's already finished and audited. And I'm like, well, tell me more. And so he sent me the link to uh, Carpe Diem and their telegram. And uh, I thought, well, let's have these guys on, come on, explain what they put together, why they created it, who they created it for and, and answer any questions people have about this token. And uh, you guys can feel feel free to screen share or whatever and walk through the website or where, whatever information you want to present. All right. Yes. So thank you for uh, for having us. Um, yeah, I, I just first talk about what it is briefly without sharing anything. Um, yeah, you are right. We uh, our tactic is um yeah we really stealth so um we didn't announce anything we just uh launched it and um yeah then monitored if it was going good uh all well and then notified the community uh i must uh say we did have a sacrifice phase but that was in early 2023 so we uh and during that sacrifice we also stated we need at least one year to uh, build uh, to finish building the pro product because we uh, we are already uh, working on the idea since uh, late 2020. Um, but yeah, active development started in 2023. Um, so yeah, what what is it? It is. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a pension fund uh, in America. It's, I think it's called a 401k or something like that. It's basically for your re retirement. Uh, so what you do is you um, make a deposit every month. Um, and by doing this, you are also uh, putting to work a very good tactic. Uh, it's called the dollar cost average. And um, yeah, by doing that, you build up a pension collateral or pension um, capital. And this capital or collateral will generate a, a payout for you. And this payout currently is about 9% a year. Um, but as the, as the token that goes along with it, um, goes up in in price the yeah you, your collateral in dollars will also increase of course so um yeah so it's it's um a very yeah i uh, not over the top with uh yield or, or whatever it's it's really focused to the um serious investors and to the serious people who are um putting work uh in and they just want to uh, have a secure and safe and flexible pension and uh, this is also why i built it 
because um, I was uh, already thinking about my future. Um, when do I want to retire? When, uh, what do I need to achieve this? And with regular pension funds, um, to be honest, I don't have trust in them anymore. And um, yeah, it, it's really horrible. Um, they keep uh, hiring the um, the age at which you can retire. So in the Netherlands, it was like 65 and now it's, I believe, 67. And nobody asked for that, but they still did it. And what they also do is they lower uh, the amount you get paid out. So why they do this is very interesting. This They do this because there is they have a structural problem. So less people are being uh, born. So less, pe less money is going in. And they make a lot of investments to... I try to make a profit, but all they do, yeah, these traders uh, that trade for uh, the pension funds, they get paid because they put in work, but they don't always uh, win money back for the pension funds. So it, it's like a losing game. And because, um, yeah, the World Economic Forum also uh, writes about it. So the, the solutions for them is to uh, higher the, the, the age or uh, lower the payout or both. Uh, and you see that ha happening everywhere. So carpet and pension works very different because we have a, uh, uh, our own token. It's called CDP. It's yeah, carpet and pension. And uh, this token has a inflation of 4.32% a year. And this inflation, just like with HEX, is divided over all the participants. And this is the only place where the payout comes from. So when you make a deposit in CDP, it is locked forever. So let that sink in. It's locked forever. You cannot take it out. We cannot take it out. Nobody can take it out. And because this is locked forever, we actually burn it. So the tokens don't exist anymore when you deposit it. But in turn, you get uh, shares. And the amount of shares you get is one share for every one CDP deposited. And this, uh, these shares uh, yeah, will uh, basically calculate for you how many uh, payouts you can claim. Um, yeah, so that was uh, <laughs> trying to have a short pitch, but it was not really short. But you, co uh, you covered a lot right there. I mean, first of all, the idea of pensions obviously isn't working out very well for anyone around the world right now you know, in America or in Europe, uh, trying to work for a company for most of your career and then them taking care of you isn't something that people expect these days, I think, for the most part. So I like the idea that you're trying to find a, a, a solution or alternative for these people that does work, uh, especially with, you know, in the cost of inflation, right? The only thing in the last 10 years that has beat inflation is crypto. You know, stocks haven't kept up with inflation, even real estate. Like this house that I'm in has tripled in value since I've been in it on paper, right? In the last seven years. But yeah, that's all your uh, shopping but my, goods are also tripled if I tell you. Yeah, well, well they 20, 20 X the money supply, right? So unless my house goes up by 20 X, it doesn't keep up with the inflation of the US Treasury, right? Or, or sorry, the Federal Reserve. So yeah definitely if you're trying to even sustain a lifestyle right now you've got to be in something like crypto or you've got to be really good at selling stuff or really good at real estate or like you've got to have some cash flow coming in because no one's going to take care of you but you 
right? So I appreciate that that need that you're serving. So when you are trying to come up with the functions or the smart contracts and the tokenomics of how to put this together, you were saying earlier that people would make like a monthly deposit hopefully, and they'd be buying the coins. And once you buy the coins, do you put them in a vault or do you, do you have a, a visual yes. of this? So, um, oh yeah, but I forgot to, uh, to load it onto my laptop, <laughs> but okay. uh, basically, uh, you, the idea is, um, when you, uh, have an income from working, you say, well, I sacrifice a certain percentage of that income and I buy CDP with it. So with every paycheck you receive from your employer, uh, you, you, for example, put 5% or 10% into a CDP and that you, uh, that CDP you deposit into our website, carpediampension.com and, um, yeah, that's the way to get shares. And while you're already doing this, one more thing, you can, um, the, the payout uh, starts immediately. So it happens every day. And days in Carpe Diem last 20 hours. I can uh, come to that, back to that, why that is. But uh, yeah, let's keep that for now. Um, so you already start getting payout. So you can decide yourself when you want to retire. If your payout is sufficient, you say, well, I receive enough payout to retire. Then you can just say, well, now is the time to retire. Um, where was I? Oh yes. So you can also choose, instead of claiming the payout, you can also choose to redeposit the payout or compounding in with a more complex word and when compounding or redepositing you get 15 percent extra shares so this amplifies uh, your future payout basically so you when you also do this every month uh, you basically um yeah really build up your pension Okay, I'm uh... I see some, uh, some some cool questions in the chat, so uh, let's go over them. Yeah, go, go over those if you can. Uh, can you uh, highlight yeah, them? Got, yeah, and I've also got the Carpe Diem uh, up. So the website, I'm going to... Oh, yeah, that's beat me to it already. He's a, he's a quick little squirrel. Um, yeah, we've got the Carpe Diem website up here. Did you want me to pull that up? And, oh, yes. Uh, perhaps you can connect your wallet with it because uh, not ever connecting a wallet mm -hmm. uh, because it is uh, test showing on. personal statistics. So are you guys seeing the the green screen right now? Well, I can uh, I can also connect my wallet with uh, uh, and share my screen because your wallet will be uh, displayed. So I'm not sure if you That's want okay. to this is a, your wallet. This is a test dummy wallet right here. Okay. So let's go to Pulse Chain because obviously you're launched on Pulse Chain. Correct? There we go. Yes, correct. Yeah. So now I've got a, a wallet connected, so it should show me the, the features here. Yeah, so if you could zoom in, uh, or maybe it is visible already, yes. Yeah, about that. Is that better? Yes, I think it's uh, more visible now. Um, yeah, so you see there are already 36 users who deposited uh, CDP and the payout is 9.26 uh, 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 a year. But uh, note that this goes down when more deposits are made uh, because uh, it needs to be uh, the the daily inflation needs to be spread amongst uh, more deposits. So at the moment, it's like, um, yeah, a little over 100K uh, in total value burned uh, or deposited, how you would call it. And uh, yeah, below you see the blocks uh, where you can deposit. Um, 
And if you scroll down a little bit, uh, under that you see the payout. So when when you have payout, it will show there, and you can click claim or redeposit. And it also uh, be, because uh, I got some feedback from our community, also put a little estimation um, how much per month or per year it would be. And uh, yeah, also a referral <laughs> system. Uh, I think uh, Fast Abdul would like this. Um, yes, so when you share uh, a referral link and someone deposited uh, one CDP, you get 10% uh, of the shares they get. So they don't get uh, get less, but you get 10%. So and that 10% will go to the uh, the wallet that's connected when you do this, correct? Um, so when you um, when someone deposited uh, deposits one CDP to your link, um, then you will receive 0 0.1 shares and they will receive one share. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I guess I'm just pointing out that if somebody wants to use a referral link, they'll want to attach or connect the specific wallet that they want to do their carpe diem in i'm guessing is, is what i'm saying so like uh most people in crypto probably know this but um if you got several accounts in one wallet it's going to be the referral is link is specific to the wallet that's connected at this type right well you can uh refer yourself if you want to but uh, you know it's uh what uh yeah we don't want to make things overly complex and trying to keep the code as simple as possible because the simpler it, it is the less chance of breaking it uh, basically so yes yeah awesome okay and what um you guys what day did you guys launch on uh we launched uh at the first of january Awesome. And how many uh, tokens did you guys launch with? What was the supply at the beginning? Um, I think 550 million or something like that. And okay. it was all uh, distributed to... Um, sorry, I don't know if you hear that uh, on the background, but uh, there is a, a motorcycle uh, driving past. Um, <laughs> Yeah, so it was all uh, spread it to the participants of the sacrifice. And um, I like uh, to uh, not um, stimulate expectations with the community. So they kind of might have expected to receive a certain amount of tokens. But what we did, we, um, we airdropped three tokens for one point um and, and we didn't tell anyone about it so that's <laughs> that's quite funny so they see more tokens in their wallet than they than they thought they would get oh that's that's a great surprise uh, did you guys you guys are launched on pulse chain but you're not launched on any other networks and uh, what... no and also not planning to in the near future but why did you guys choose to launch on pulse chain um, well, Post, uh, Postgen is a really good network. Uh, it's a, it's a full state Ethereum fork. Uh, this means, yeah, I can explain everything, but I, I think most of the people know it already, but it's, um, basically a copy of Ethereum with, uh, yeah, uh, more speed and, uh, lower transaction costs. So Ethereum is a really solid um, and I would say decentralized network. This is really important um, to have many nodes and Pulsein also has really, uh, a lot of nodes. Um, yeah, so it, it, it seems like a solid network to me and as, a, as an OG hexagon, uh, I also have quite a few hacks uh, and I'm also holding that uh, and uh, restaking every time. Um, but you know, 
that's the way how I came into Pulse Chain, and that just feels natural to me. I like that answer. Uh, we are we are going to be launching our project eventually on Pulse Chain, and two of the reasons that that we chose Pulse Chain obviously are the one some of the ones that you mentioned the the way it performs and the fact that it's so decentralized, but the community is really what we want to, that's who we want to communicate with that's who we want in our group right you got people that a know how to party first of all as caitlin can attest to but b you also have the smartest people in crypto like we're light years ahead of what most people understand about blockchain or how to use it or how just not to lose your money right like we've we've got an insane amount of brain power here. So if I bring an idea to a community and I want them to be able to wrap their heads around it, I like going to the Pulse Chain and Hex community because we've been, you know, educated by Richard Hart so well and by each other in this space. I mean, looking at the people in chat, you've got Crypto Coffee, SJ, you know, Vets, everyone's always sharing all their alpha. And then as we were saying early, Access Alive, the guy's just, he's got some sort of a, brain that doesn't stop seeing the angles and seeing how things fit together so yeah i was just going to give give a shout out to the pulse chain community when it comes to, to launching a project uh hex clip says cdp is a great way to save money for your children so when they go to college or whatever you can give them a passive income stream so make sure to use a brand new wallet i want to talk about that one and then we'll go into um the uh the i guess after that, if we can go into the tokenomics of it. Yeah, all right. Is there a... Yeah, so Hexclips, um, yeah, it's, it's a really uh, nice guy. And um, he is also a really uh, OG hexagon. In the early days, uh, he clipped uh, yeah, um, videos from Richard Hart um when clips weren't a thing yet so that's that was really funny and he got a lot of audience and um yeah he also joined our community very early and um he's also one of of my uh telegram moderators um so yeah he's he's a really nice guy and he actually has bought a domain name pulsepension.com and he puts this link uh, at the end of every clip he makes and this redirects to his referral link so that's really a smart idea uh, uh, yeah so uh, yeah and and he uh, he says well for me it's not really uh, uh, worth it to to make a pension because I'm already a, a bit older um, but for my children, it's a really good option to uh, save uh, for my children because this is also a great point. You can, uh, with a normal pension fund, you cannot transfer it over. When you die, in some rare cases, you can transfer it over to your wife. Uh, or, uh, uh, yeah, for example. So, but to your children, to uh, other people you love. You cannot transfer it to them. Right. Uh, but with Carpet and Pension, you can just hand over the private keys because, um, yeah, it's, it's bound to an address and not to a person. So that's really smart and, uh, yeah, a, a cool strategy indeed. Yeah. Well, and I think mean, they're planning on that, right? They're, they don't want to pay out any more or any longer than they have to. They're, they're planning on you kicking the bucket within a few years of you retiring from your job. So this is not this is great that you can transfer that as well. I just want to give a shout out to Talarus in the chat. Haven't seen you for a while. How are you doing? And uh, Tin Tops in the house. I see a Mike, Mike Roth says, where are those guys on X? So yeah, where, uh, where are you guys on X? Um, it's uh, Carpe Diem CDP. Uh, I will, I, I'm not logged in, uh, but I will send it in the private chat and maybe someone can, uh, and that's it. Yeah. It. Yeah, that, if you, yeah. Yeah. If you <laughs> scroll, you'll see it up there. I put the link for, uh, on X in there. Ah, 
Oh, yes. I see. Hey, if you wouldn't mind, can you touch base on audits completed and any, if any, admin keys? Like, and we know, you know, we're a little educated. We know that there are some good admin keys. Not all admin keys are bad. Cool. Yeah. Can we actually ask him to do the tokenomics first before the audit yes. and the keys? Yes. Yes. Okay. Hey guys, so, one, yeah, one last thing. Uh, me and SJ, we actually have a team meeting coming yeah. up. Uh, I really appreciate it being here. I love this Carpe Diem project. I'm going to look into it further, uh, but I do have to roll out. Hey, before you guys bounce, uh, let people know where they can follow you and where they get information on the tour. You know, the easiest thing is just to go to postchaintour.com real easy. Uh, all of our socials are connected on the home page. So if you want to find us individually, you can just click on our picture and it'll go to our Twitters. Uh, but yeah, postchaintour.com, that's all you need. Every event is there. Awesome. Thank you. And SJ, thank you people, for being here. Uh, jump on and, and follow you and your adventures. You're oh, muted. You're muted. <laughs> it's okay. Same thing. Black Hexican said, yeah, go to pulsechaintour.com. Our socials are all there. I'm at A Wild SJ all over the place. That's where you can find my face. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. You're always welcome on the channel. We'll be talking soon. Bye. 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 Okay. Sorry. Sorry about that interruption. I know you've got this train of thought. But like I said, if I'm sitting there and I think, okay, I've got to create a pension, because We've got two really interesting models to deal with, right? We have HEX, which is the first CD or time deposit. And then we have Texan, which is the first endowment that set up kind of like an endowment. And so now you're looking at pensions, 401ks, and a real retirement idea. And so how do you, how, what functions or what tokenomics um, did you build into this so that people can uh, deposit and hopefully, you know, get a good return uh, later on. Yeah, so um, the, uh, there was an initial supply of 550 or something. I'm, <laughs> I'm not sure exactly, but it was like uh, half a billion tokens. So uh, this was spread amongst uh, sacrificers and uh, yeah, what you uh, what I, um, and turn it into shares, and when you do that, you get a uh, yearly, uh, yeah, pay, daily payout. But it's, I mean, I don't want people to sit behind their computer every day, uh, and this is also a vision of mine. I have tried trading and I noticed I was becoming a zombie. So uh, I, I just quit everything uh, when I real, realized that this was happening. Uh, so uh, I want people to, to enjoy their life, uh, to go out, um, also to work to uh, with nice colleagues, uh, enjoy working, but don't have the obligation to work like to, uh, till you are 70 or something like that so um yeah so you get the payout and this payout is paid for 4.32 um percent a year from the inflation of cdp and that's uh basically all well there is uh, um there are ways to get shares but that's not really connected to the token so to say okay so so you've got the supply of tokens and the supply of tokens it um it inflates at a point of 4.32 per year right per year and then that's paid yes. to whoever if, if i buy the cdp token i've got to come in here and deposit it right yes so, so you can hold it as a token you can speculate on people buying and uh, depositing for, for permanently forever. Um, that's that uh, is something traders might do. You know, uh, speculate on that. You see that also happening with hex. Uh, but people wanting to use the system uh, really build a pension. They um, deposit. So it's it's not. 
uh, an obligation to deposit and build a pension, but it's an it's an option. So when I deposit uh, the CDP in here to get shares, um, do I determine when my payouts happen in the future or do I just let them accumulate and roll, so to speak, like snowball as long as I want and then I, I end that share or sorry, I can unstake a portion of my shares. Is that correct? Uh, no, you can never unstake your shares. Um, so they are permanently tied to your account. So it's also very important to use a, a hardware wallet uh, and uh, keep good practice, not uh, photographing your private, private keys or uh, seed words or whatever. Um, and so when I when I take the sorry to interrupt, uh, when I take the Carpe Diem tokens and I buy shares with them, you said that they're just they're burnt, they're destroyed forever. So that Correct. means that that share lives on forever as well. Yes, Correct? that's that's and, right. And then I'm competing with other people to see how many shares we get because that determines that uh, payout of four point two three percent. Yes, and in total uh, there are one point three shares generated on every CDP deposit. So uh, point one goes to the referral program. And point two goes to the auction. The auction is a bit complicated, so that's why I didn't talk about it yet. Um, and if the if there is no referral, then it also goes to the auction. So there's always one point three shares going into the system. Awesome. And then, um, so basically, you're hoping to uh, take the liquid supply off the market and have people deposit it to to receive shares, correct? Indeed. And and. Uh, Coming back to your previous question, uh, it's indeed that you build up your payout, so it accumulates over time. And when you, for example, deposit uh, $100 the first time, um, then 9% is uh, $9, but it's uh, that is what you will get uh, in a whole year. So you will get less than a dollar per month but when you make more deposits, when you make a, a, a deposit the next month and uh, also $100, then your total deposit is $200. And um, yeah, so your monthly payout will also increase. But this, this is when the price is stable, of course. If the price rises, that $100 from the first month might have increased in value uh, to, for example, $110, and then you deposit uh, $100 the second month, and your total uh, value deposited is then uh, $210, for example. So uh, yeah, you, you build up uh, the payout, and that way you can decide when to retire. So there's no date you have to set it's really a relaxed um thing because you know i i really like hex and it's a really amazing system if you want to create savings planned savings and i really um advise yeah i cannot advise but uh, you know i recommend people to do that um but carpet and pension is is a bit more relaxed it's just every month uh, deposit and eventually you can uh, take out the payout every month. Awesome. Okay. So basically you're building like this snowball as big as you can, and you're trying to get to a point where they call the, the burn rate. So you can um, harvest or take a certain percentage of profits. And after a certain point, it'll grow faster than you're taking profits, right? If you get to that point, like, let's say that, you put in enough money over the years that it was worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. And then you were able to live off a portion of that and let it, most of it continue to grow. That would be yes. like ideal in this situation, right? Yeah. So it's um, at a certain point when you start um, claiming your payouts, uh, then it's logical to not deposit anymore. 
but of course when the price rises you uh, it might happen that the value uh, increases still increases so uh, indeed it's 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 a really nice example of that snowball uh, i haven't thought of that before but it's it's a really nice visualization yeah we're actually uh, like a flywheel a lot of people talk about the momentum of a flywheel a big heavy wheel that once you get it going it takes very little to, to keep it going. Uh, Hexius man in the house says, yes, sir. I was going to hop on with you guys, but would have been joining a bit late. Now I'm catching up. Tech talks, one of the absolute best shows though. Thank you very much. Yeah. And, make uh, also sure you can also watch it back. And it was also really interesting about the, uh, Bill's chain tour in Vegas. So, uh, yeah, watch yeah. it back when we are done. And anyone here in chat, ask any questions that you have for the developers and, and the founder here, because this is like, this is your chance to ask whatever you want. Um, can we go into the auctions first before we go into the um, audits? All right. So, yes, you can, uh, on the left, you can go to the auction page. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, quite complicated stuff. Um, <laughs> but basically, um, what it is, you can deposit PLS uh and get a share of the the auction uh and you can see how many total shares are in the auction so uh at the current day it's uh almost two hundred thousand, and this is divided at the end of the day to everyone who deposited uh pls and so for and each pls you get one chance to win um, it's it's like a combined uh, deposit, combined auction. So uh, I'm not sure if you're aware how Hex, uh, the, the other adoption the adoption amplifier, amplifier. Works, mm -hmm. but it's similar to that. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. So this these... is also the reason. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so the, so the, the adoption amplifier of Hex uh, was like releasing Hex tokens and instead of releasing tokens, we are um, basically auctioning shares. And these shares, it, it's really a nice system because these shares cannot be sold on the market. They only get a very small fraction in payout every day. Does it, how long does this auction go for? Does this go for the life of the... This, this uh, goes forever because for every uh, CDP deposit, uh, 0.2 shares go to the auction and uh, every day 5% uh, well it, it's put in a jar basically and every day 5% of that jar is auctioned off so this okay, equal sure. this 5% percent equalizes uh, a bit how uh, how much shares there are so if i'm reading this this chart right on day 67 uh there was 52 almost 53,000 CDP minted that day. And there were about 208,000 shares. And those 208,000 shares were divided amongst uh, 3.7 million pulse. You know, the, however much pulse you put in, you probably got that share of, of those shares. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. So you get the, the value on uh, one to the right, you see that uh, it's PLS per share, so mm -hmm. per um, so it costs you the last day. It was like a, an anomaly because uh, it was quite high. Um, I think someone didn't quite uh, know uh, how it worked or something like that because uh, yeah, it, it's quite quite a high price. But um, you know when it's uh, I think when it's in the over time, it, 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 it will be fine. Um, so you see normally it's yeah three or four um, PLS per share. So it costs you four PLS to get one share. Mm -hmm. uh, remember... this, this is only decided at the end of the, the day mm -hmm. and uh, days last 20 hours. So what we had with HEX, the adoption amplifier, and this was really uh, horrible for people living in Europe. Uh, it was the, the days lasted 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And 
it was always in the middle of the night with us. <laughs> so, <laughs> so with the 20 hour day, it shifts uh, six times uh, before uh, getting back. So that's, uh, that's uh, a way to, to get uh, more chance for people all over the world to, to participate. And because the last moments are the, probably the most important. Yeah, well, and uh, back in the adoption amplifier days, it would there'd be a difference, almost an arbitrage opportunity between the market price of hex and the adoption amplifier price of hex. So, I, as I can see, like I said, uh, yesterday people paid almost eighteen pulse per share, but before that, it's sticking around three and four pulse per share. It looks like yes, that's correct. This... And in the early days, it was like uh, really low. Uh, it was also below one, or I think the lowest was uh, zero point three or something like that. Okay. So uh, those people who were uh, in in the first days, they were uh, it's already figured out how the auction worked that uh, they uh, got quite a lot of shares for cheap price. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay. Uh, now, um, the, uh, uh, I guess some information is where we go over the yeah. audits. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So you can click on that and you will find the audits as well. So it, it brings you to another page, uh, the information, uh, the kids book page, and you can also find, um, under downloads, you can find our white paper uh, and some of our our brand assets and there's some other information on there, but it's still being worked on. Um, yeah, so I will probably uh, put every information from the white paper also in the Git book. Um, so people don't have to download the, the file. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And you've got one from Quill audits, tech rate and solid proof that people can actually publish the whole audit on all three of these? Yes. So um, we are audited three times. Um, and yeah, we, we uh, were searching for really good audits. So not audits that were just um, uh, had a good reputation and just said, well, it's good to go. But we w really wanted a deep dive. So with uh, quail audits and solid proof. We also did, um, yes, uh, uh, extensive manual testing, uh, writing uh, custom scripts, uh, etc. And um, especially quail audits found a lot of issues, and I'm really happy about that because uh, I really wanted them to find everything that was there. So we could fix it. And uh, I'm, yeah, really, if you want a solid audit, uh, my recon recommend, sorry, my English recommendation is really uh, with Quill audits. And solid proof uh, from Germany is also quite good. Uh, really nice guys all, as well. And so, yep. uh, yeah. I was just going to ask, as far as like, yeah, those that double checked the math, the formulas behind mm. it. Um, so you're kind of speaking to, to uh, Krill. Um, did they uh, touch it up and, and review all of that? Yeah, so uh, yes. So they, uh, during the audit process, they also asked a lot of questions about the uh, the tokenomics, the, the math uh, and ask a few questions, uh, is this intended behavior, you know, is this, uh, this does this, this does that. Um, so yeah, they, they really, uh, I think they really did a deep dive into the project and not looked for standard issues or stuff like that, but also really the tokenomics were reviewed. And uh, is there a white paper? Where, where can people look at it? Oh, yeah, it's uh, currently under the downloads, um, and some of the terms used in there are a bit outdated, uh, a bit technical as well. So I, I, my goal is to make it a, li a little bit more simple, uh, because 
yeah also in the stream it's it's still quite complicated for people and um i i, I want uh, it's for people to um to be more simple and also because i'm planning to uh onboard a lot of people who haven't done anything with crypto yet um so yes uh that that's something to work on cool i think we should we should also mention that uh, there are no admin keys because somebody asked so yeah. the token has zero admin keys like usually a library called ownable where you can do some stuff but you can check the code there's nothing uh, i think yeah actually there is uh, an ownable because um there were t uh, we had three smart contracts in uh, interconnected with each other and in order to set them up to point them to each other we had to have admin keys uh, and but these yeah. were renounced immediately so uh those are gone and now nobody has control over it uh, anyway. yeah yeah right and and is there a way to uh to prove the renouncement of keys i'm asking for myself because we'll probably have some admin keys like you did at the beginning to connect our contracts and then yeah, we're you gonna can, want to uh, renounce them afterwards you can uh if you go to the contracts you can view the contracts on uh, the, the explorer and there you can see uh, in the contract functions you can uh, call something like owner and if that says uh zero x zero 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 basically the um, null address um, that means that nobody is the owner that is right. renounced. Cool. So this, uh, this is also uh, a, a way to, to uh, check it with other contracts. Yeah, uh, Facet is asking about a gauged pool on Fux.io. Uh, pay bribe your holders to provide liquidity. So I'm yeah, not sure Hex, Hexclips on... also told me about that, but I have still have to look into it. Uh, I've been very busy, uh, but... Uh, I will definitely look into it. I mentioned that too. <laughs> cool. <When we> start, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Cool. That's uh, true. Yes. Nuclear Herb says, can you give a brief overview of the mechanics to exit? Let's say I'm happy after five years and I want out. What's the process and what am I withdrawing? Which token? Good question. Yeah, so you are withdrawing CDP, just like you put in. And um, you cannot uh, withdraw everything. You uh, you basically have a permanent passive income. So every day, if you want, but let's say every month, then you can claim your payout. Uh, so, yeah. Awesome. And I'm just looking at a chart. Like I said, we're uh, 60 days into this about, you said 67. Um, and you can really see the, the, it looks like the people that were given three to one we're so happy that they got rid of a bunch. Yeah, so they, they, that's, that's all always the case. As much as some people as didn't could. understand it, but uh, generally speaking, um, I'm quite happy with the launch. Uh, yeah, I've, but yes. it recovered fairly quickly, so it's kind of making a range right now um, between you know three zeros and a five down here, and three zeros and a seven up here. So it'll be interesting to see as people figure out how this works and learn about it and start going for the shares, you know, uh, what, what that'll do to price. Hey, it's kind of yes, hard exactly. to see. It's kind of hard to see. Can you call out what the liquidity is and market cap? Oh yeah. And I'll, I'll try zooming in here too, as well. <clears throat> Got a bunch of old people on watching this, right? <laughs> okay. So it looks like, um, let me, let me back out a little bit. And there we go. So, yeah, it looks like uh, right now uh, liquidity is 99,000. Um, and then you've got uh, the the volume is 176K. Oh, that's right? fully, fully diluted value. So that's basically the market cap. Oh, okay. So this is the, like the market cap right there. So yeah. okay, volume cool. isn't, uh, isn't really a lot. Uh, it's... I think it says one hundred thirty-three dollars, mm -hmm. and right now it's uh, f about four point one five pulse per 
CDP, which is pretty close to that auction that you guys have going on. Yeah, right? exactly. But that's why uh, why I said uh, that that uh, eighteen PLS per share uh, thing anomaly was uh, also a bit high. So that's right. You pay the pre uh, basically the uh, people entering at that day pay the premium. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So right. when uh, w when was the token launched? Was that like January first? Like January? January. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The start of the year. So when everyone uh, was uh, sleeping out, I was uh, busy with uh, with launching the project. Cool. All right. Let's see if we got any other questions here in chat uh not at the time do you have any other questions vet uh <clears throat> um no we covered audits uh admin keys uh do, do, do. no it's it's looking good sounding good i think you're on to something um like everything it's all about you know you just got to market it and put it out there like you're doing you know so this is a great step in that direction and now that you're out of the stealth phase you can be as public and put it putting it uh, putting your project out there um and make it happen yeah it's good stuff yeah yeah oh, and I'm, uh, i want to elaborate that i am uh, that we are trying to uh make people ent enthusiastic who are not uh, necessarily yet in crypto so this is a really hard task because uh they often um to think something bad about crypto um so th this is a hard task but i think when uh, yeah well basically a lot of people already realize uh the the current pension systems aren't working for them so they want an alternative uh where they have more control and we are providing that so i think um uh, yeah there is also a lot of room to bring new people into Pulse Chain. So not only uh, into CDP, but because it's on Pulse Chain, they need to buy PLS to transact. Hey, so uh, Leaf is your developer, right? Um, what 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 is your background and experience, Leaf, if you don't mind? Um, yeah, um, I like to start mechanical engineering and uh, I'm not a, I'm a self-taught developer and uh, uh, I worked in the aerospace sector for almost seven years, and so in 2017 I discovered uh, crypto. And well, I didn't have any money then, and any had I invested, you know, ICO era, I lost all of it. And I want to hang on to the space because I really liked it. So you know, they're like you can be an owner, a developer, an investor. You know, there's certain roles you could be in crypto. So I thought you know I can be a developer. So I started learning and uh, I was very lucky. I had a very good uh, mentor guy who gave me projects too fast. So, you know, while I was wor wor learning, I was earning, so I could leave my mechanical job. Uh, this guy, he quit crypto like 2018 because uh, he thought the space is very bad actor. So he's quite sensitive. So I picked, I picked up all his clients, which was good for me. And he was sincere on like, I'm very excited about crypto and everything. Like, I love doing projects. Um, I've done maybe 20, 25. Um, and, you know, I just, uh, yeah, I like meeting people and, you know, somebody tells me his idea, I'll try to make it, you know, even though he doesn't pay me. I've done many projects with friends who didn't have money and, you know, they tell me, you know, if it picks up, you get percentage. So, um, yeah, I'm real happy to be in the space. You know, I just, I've stopped all my hobbies stop swimming so everything just focus on learning and you know it's crypto so much to learn every day new stuff so yeah i'm just very happy to be here and i'm happy i'm at city and you know everyone so yeah good hey and, and it means a lot being uh putting your faces out there as founders because i think it's it's really it's getting old you know with people not putting themselves out there hiding you know and so yeah this is good you guys are on the right track man so congratulations yeah, I mean, I had many bad uh, experiences with developers, owners, you know, and because I don't like that, I have even my name on my bio. I had a personal page with my personal last name because, mm. you know, I don't plan to do anything bad. I'm just 
you know, normal person. So it was like a, you know, a reflex to all the people who are anonymous and hiding and developers and all that. So I just didn't want to be like that. And yeah, you know, respect. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I personally like like privacy, uh, but I feel like uh, as a founder, I have to give up a yeah. bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's the trade off, right? It it is what it is. Yeah. Uh, Nuclear Herb says thanks for answering. So if I understand that right, the shares will start. I start will be getting paid forever. So I guess I should make sure someone gets my wallet after I'm dead then. And then Hexcliff's answer is, yeah, you get paid the day after you deposit for every day forever. He says, make sure you use a brand new wallet that's just used for CDP. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, and that's, yeah. that's a good tip for everything. For every crypto, make, okay. a, make another wallet. Because there are a lot of ways to get scammed. And even without you realizing it. And I have, like, I think one or two people a month come to me crying uh, that they lost uh, X amount of money because they, uh, they yeah, they, they fell into something and it happens to everyone really. And, um, so don't think you are, uh, resistant to this because, uh, really in my experience, it happens to everyone. So just make a, a new wallet for everything. And with Pulse Chain, this is really easy because, uh, with Pulse Chain, you don't need a lot of fees. Uh, and with Ethereum, it can be hard to make multiple wallets because every wallet needs Ethereum in it. But with Pulse Chain, <laughs> this is a lot better. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and the Hex Club brings up a good point. Shout out to Nuclear Herbs. If you guys want to follow Nuclear Herbs on Twitter, he's the one that's been um, bringing mm -hmm. out all the information on the RH case against SEC. Oh, so thank you. thank you very much. And it looks like he is planning on being in Vegas. Again, if you guys mm -hmm. in the chat are going to be in Vegas, throw a plus one. And then uh, if you guys are going to be in Salt Lake on in April and do a plus two. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I might be there at the KSB event in Amsterdam, but uh, so, someone from my community is going there and he said well uh, are you going as well so i i don't have my tickets yet but uh, i think it would be really cool to be there yeah and that's in, in some especially for a new projects um you gotta yeah you gotta go to the irl events because that's where everybody's at and you know you shake hands kiss babies all that good stuff hang out with people and then next thing you know you're you're on other streams with those people and getting the word out larger audience you know like it's stepping blocks but going to in real life meetups will fast forward and help fast track where you want to take this project yep. yeah so one thing i personally am also doing right now is i connected up with uh with lit uh my life Ooh, is yeah. awesome yeah awesome and guy. he is doing a, a great project uh, connecting uh, really uh, a lot of projects and founders uh, and i'm happy to be part of it and uh, well, he, he is going. He is uh, doing a mustache meme competition right now. So nice. uh, I, I have prepared something funny. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> so now, uh, now, uh, now my good. life is awesome as well. <laughs> <laughs> that's good I thought, stuff. I thought that was lit for a second. I was like, oh, the lit's on here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's um, great. So stuff, uh, going forward, obviously, you don't want to um, promise or, or you don't want to make any uh, promises of future work for other people. But where would you uh, like to it's, see? It's, it's really hard to, in the to not uh, hint at anything, but uh, right. I'm trying to. So where, where would you like to see it go? I, I would ask, you know, uh, what what kind of effect would you like this project to have on people? Yeah, to be honest, um, with Hex, I've experienced what it is to, to be rich. And I can say this is not many people uh, have desires for a Lambo or for, for whatever. I am um, lucky that I didn't really have this desire, but uh, still I um, experienced that it's not uh, 
all positive uh, to have a lot of money. Uh, but what you really want, and this is only a very small fraction of people who manage to do this, is turning your your richness into wealthiness. And uh, this is carpe diem pension basically forces you to, to become wealthy because you deposit and you have this forever. You cannot touch it. Um, so how stupid you are, yeah, well, basically the only thing, stupid thing you can do is uh, leak your private keys. Uh, but aside from that, um, if you if you are stupid in life, you made some horrible decisions and you need money, you are not going to touch your pension. It's not going to happen. So um, it's basically, yes, it's, it's you are building wealth and this wealth is uh, paying you every month. Awesome. And that's what uh, what I love to see many people uh, doing. Hey, I was uh, going back to the chart. Um, are you guys going to lock any liquidity? Uh, is this going to just remain open? Um, any thoughts uh, on that? Currently, there are, I think, two major liquidity providers. Mm -hmm. And um, I can say that I'm one of them. <laughs> but uh, I am not um planning to lock it and this is a uh, for a particular reason because in my experience i have been for a very long time in crypto and i have seen many uh, decentralized exchanges but pulse xv2 might be the best right now but there might be uh, something better in the future but if it's locked, you can, you are stuck with yeah. it. And you've seen, I've seen a lot of projects die because they <laughs> launched on Uniswap V1 and locked mm -hmm. their liquidity there. And uh, yeah, this, this flexibi flexibility is something uh, I want. People can, of course, lock liquidity themselves if they want to, but yeah. I am not going to do that for this reason. And I really hope uh, that people will also, out of goodwill, provide liquidity because now it's a bit centralized, uh, and I really hope that it's uh, yeah. getting more uh, decentralized. Okay. Yeah, no. very good. Thank you. So that's that's one thing you want to see going forward is more decentralized liquidity on the exchanges, um, and then you're hoping, like you said, that more people will take advantage of these tools, specifically Carpe Diem to turn their mindset from money or or riches to wealth because you know being rich is is measured in dollars or whatever your currency is and wealth yeah, is you measured can in be, time. you can be rich by a lambo and crash it into a tree and then you are not rich anymore yeah yeah well uh, i think the, the quote comes from uh oh shoot bucky buck minister fuller so Buckminster Fuller was this crazy inventor back in the day. He came up with a lot of cool solutions for people's need for food and housing and energy. But he also, in one of his patents, he wrote down that wealth is the number of days forward you can live on the money that you have or the money coming in, right? And so wealth is measured in time, whereas, like I said, like you said, you can be really, really rich on paper and have nice things, but you still, you know, that doesn't mean you can pay your bills tomorrow. So yeah, and I also see this with with celebrities. I hope uh, celebrities will also go uh, into carpet diem pension, because one problem celebrities have, and uh, if anyone is watching this, please uh, take notes. Uh, you are only famous for a short period of time, and <laughs> after that, uh, you have a really hard life. Um, and I see this with, um, I, I've watched some interviews with uh, very famous DJs uh, back in the 80s or uh, 90s. And they made millions and millions. And what they did, they uh, had a private jet, uh, went shopping every Friday with friends and uh, gave, uh, gave away a, a lot of money. And, uh, well, they are not famous, well, still famous but they are not popular anymore and now they are just 
uh, doing a uh, yeah, nine to five job to keep on uh, providing for their families, you know? So um, the, those are great examples of people uh, being rich, uh, but this is not sustainable. Uh, you need to turn that richness into wealth in it if you want to uh, benefit for the, for the rest of your life from it. Right, right. And uh, I'm, again, not to put words in your mouth or expectations of work with others. Um, do you guys have an idea of how you'd like to reach out to the community, get the word out about this and, and spread awareness? Yeah, so um, I can only do a limited part myself. Um, I'm trying really hard to um, make the most out of it. But because we have a referral system, anyone can uh, spread the word and in turn get uh, free shares. So uh, yeah, I uh, encourage everyone to share their referral links and not spam them. Uh, perhaps tell a, a little bit about Carpe Diem. Uh, ask me anything. I'm uh, available in Telegram, Discord or Twitter. You can always uh, hit me up uh, when we are still small. Um, just try to educate people a bit. Um, so not only spam your link, but uh, send your link, send a picture with it, or tell a bit of information. Why are you uh, participating in Carpe Diem Pension, for example? It's also really interesting to hear the personal stories. Oh, so, I, yes. I remember one question I had. Is there, are there, uh, is there an OA or an origin address with the bulk of these coins? And also... Yes. Um, how do you how do you deal with uh, whales? Is there a way that whales could come in and, and uh, manipulate this system? Um, whales can always manipulate, and I don't believe in restrictions. So um, I think restrictions make uh, uh, break a lot of things. So uh, I didn't put any restrictions on it. There was one giant whale who uh, sacrificed and owns a lot of the supply. But he also deposited uh, a lot in the in the pension, so it was also a, a lot of it was locked forever. Um, furthermore, about the OA, um, the project um, does not own any CDP, but there is an OA. We call it the Swiss address, and that receives all the PLS from the auction. So the mm -hmm. only revenue we get, uh, the, the, the Swiss address gets is from the auction in PLS. And uh, yeah, again, there should be no expectations from this address, but it's, it might happen that, that this address um, also wants CDP, but it has to buy it from the market then because it, it doesn't get anything for free. Hey, so did you mention, was did was there an airdrop for this? And if so, uh, what was the, how was that determined to go up, be shared out? Yeah, so there was an airdrop and this was a real airdrop. So most airdrops nowadays are free claims and not really an airdrop. So a real airdrop is um, an event at which people receive free tokens and a free claim is an event at which people can claim uh, free tokens but there's a very major difference with a free claim you need to uh, approve a transaction and this is where it goes wrong a lot of times people get scammed because they approve a, a wrong transaction and they approve uh, an approval instead of uh, a smart contract uh, thing. So uh, they basically allow others to steal their coins. And uh, yeah, so we did an, a real airdrop to the addresses who sacrificed for a fair and guaranteed pension back in January uh, or early 2023. It lasted a few months. Um, and um, yeah, those people got points, and for the points, for each point gained, uh, we added three CDP. And 
yeah, one of the reasons we decided to uh, add up three was because the uh, amount in the um, sacrifice was lower than we uh, had hoped. So, um, yeah, we, we wanted the supply to be a bit higher. Yeah, and going back to the OA, it doesn't get a copy of the bonuses, the referrals, the auction, or any of those things. It doesn't get a copy of the shares. No, it, there's no way it gets free CDP. Um, yeah, so it, the only way to get CDP is by buying it or participating in the auction. Cool. Well, and that's that's to get shares and then uh, to get CDP. So it's it's. Uh, yeah, I think it's it's a, a really fair system. So the the OA or Swiss address, how you want to call it, uh, is like any other user. Yeah. And, and how much uh, pulse has the Swiss address received so far in the sixty-seven days of auctions? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> I think um, it's. Uh, yeah, what's what is uh, 150 million or something awesome but awesome. you see that it's uh you can analyze it and you see that it's um also um putting in uh or basically distributing to a certain address and that address is participating in the auction and uh, so it, it circulates and what you can also see is that this address doesn't claim its shares. So if you participate in the auction, you also have to claim the shares before they start generating payout. So this is also getting shares off the market. So the payout for other uses uh, uh, remains higher. So okay. this, this, uh, this, this is uh, something the Swiss address has been doing, has been cited. Uh, some people have rec recognized this. Um, yeah, so I uh, just want to be transparent about it. So um, so it's a, it's participating. Some of those are participating in the auction, but they're not claiming their shares, which means that as long as they don't claim those shares, that interest goes to the other people that are yeah. claiming their shares. Yeah, and so you cannot, of course, yeah. you cannot expect them to never claim. Uh, you, should, you should expect nothing, but... Uh, Yes, it, till now it hasn't claimed any of those shares, and it are the the shares they have gotten are a lot uh, when they claim it. So, yeah, that kind of reminds me of the OA. You know, the OA owns most of the T shares, but the OA is also only staking a portion of what it has, right? So, if it had staked everything then our payout per T-share would be lower where it's kind of like giving us a lot more. It's kind of in that same same vein for the time being. Yeah, and indeed, it's, it's we, similar. Yeah, we have no idea if the OA is ever going to stake all its stuff, right? So it's just it's just something you've got to uh, weigh in the back of your mind as well. Hey, do you guys hey, uh, have any plans? Can open it. Yes, I'm go sorry. ahead. Ed. Sorry, I didn't mean to talk over you. Um, uh, any uh, plans for going on uh, launching this on other chains? Um, to be honest, uh, I am also quite um, large into Tron. Uh, also in, the, in that community, I've built a lot of friends there. Um, so, but I, I don't want to launch... Um, on there really because um yeah it the, the, the cdp token is solely on pulse chain so it has to be through another token and uh, maybe a slightly modified system uh we are also open source uh, so uh, with the mit license so people can copy it when they mention our name um, but you know if there is someone in the tron uh, space who says, well, I, I would like to uh, implement uh, the system or part of the system. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm open for uh, collaboration, so to say. Uh, 
um, because I think it's uh, there are going to be copycats, and uh, bad to have, uh, yeah, what, uh, uh, real things. Yes. What's your take on uh, liquid loans? Have you checked uh, the liquid loans and the various ways of making passive income over there? Um, What's yes. Your take so on liquid, liquid loans? loans. To be honest, I am not really the most positive about it uh, because um, it was marketed to me. Uh, as a way to never, uh, what was it? Never sell. Never sell. Um, Your pulse. But this this is not true because it's uh, it's indir indirectly selling, and uh, nobody believes me when I say this. Even when I uh, provide uh, calculations, um, because yeah, uh, you get a stablecoin, and you can sell this stablecoin, but basically by doing that you are selling the the pls uh, and someone else is uh, buying uh, the stable coin uh, I, I i don't remember exactly because it, it was quite complicated but um yeah so because it was marketed this way um i and i see that it's not true uh, that's why i don't like it but as a way to lock value um it has uh, the facts are that there is a lot of value locked in it and it has put pulse chain uh, among the big players with total value locked so i must congratulate them on that uh, and maybe i can look into it but i'm not really a, a large fan of lending um basically yeah you are putting your collateral at risk and that's something i don't like yeah, I, I agree with you there. I took the other side of liquid loans. So instead of doing a vault with my pulse, I took a bunch of USDL and I've been staking that and earning the, the loan token, which has been, it's right. been paying the, yeah. uh, it just dipped under 100% APR. So it's like yeah, 90 today, correct. but it's, it was insane. At the, in the first weeks, it was like 1400, 1500%. But if you look at the chart of loan, you can see it's kind of a dump token right now. Um, and that's probably going to happen for a while until it kind of evens out, you know. So, yeah, that, indeed, that's a, that's a smart move indeed. So not, uh, not uh, putting your PLS at risk, but just doing it via their really old tokens. Uh, that's, uh, that's a good move, I think. Yeah. Hey, so. you know what's funny about that is, is as much as people were complaining, those that um, locked it up for like two years with, with liquid loans, they might be the winners in the end, you know? Um, and just like this whole last bear market, you know, a lot of hexagons were saved, and, you know, and we came out through the other side with our stuff intact because we didn't fall, you know... Uh, fall into the traps of celsius and three arrows and everything else yeah so me, me yeah. included uh, by the way <laughs> so uh yes I, yeah. I really learned about locking up for a, a certain amount of time and forcing yourself uh to hold and uh that that made uh yeah it was amazing and the fact that carpe there diem is. pension you can permanently lock up and permanently protect yourself and only basically get a yield um yeah that's i think it's it's insane and i i, I can still still not believe it that i'm the one who who got that idea out of the out of the air you know hey man you never know never know and biggest uh, thing with that and a lesson like a lot of us learn because originally with the hex stakes we had them on the on like metamask hot wallet and, you know, as we've become educated, you know, we've learned how to migrate that, get it off of there, put it onto a hardware wallet. So, like, for this example, you know, new address, you know, and whatever, if, you know, but just use the hardware wallet with the new address, period. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's the best option. Um, and for people not uh, able to do that option, uh, make sure that it's, like, on, a, on an old laptop um, that you're – that's not connected to the internet uh, only you when you are uh, participating or, or doing actions with the wallet. So 
there there are ways to put a non um, non hardware wallet well no hardware wallet but uh, it's very hard and also not really advised because the keys might still be leaked in some files on your computer or left over or already uh, leaked but it is possible to uh, to transfer over to a hardware wallet but uh, it's best to start fresh from a new hardware wallet yeah, and I uh, think people can join your Telegram and ask you any questions that they have and participate in the community at t.me forward slash Carpe Diem CDP. And then we've had um, the website that put up here, uh, Carpe Diem Pension dot com, right? Yes, Is that's there... our link. And then Thanks. your uh, Carpe Diem on Twitter or? Carpe Diem CDP, yes. Okay. You know, Carpe Diem is, is a name quite uh, commonly used. So uh, just Carpe Diem wasn't available anymore. So uh, just with CDP behind it. And that's basically in our uh, all our socials, except for Discord. Discord is discord.gg uh, forward slash Carpe Diem. So, uh, yes. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Is there anything else, uh, anywhere else uh, that you guys would like to share with the community to, to get involved with your project or reach out to you? No, not really. I think I think uh, when you have questions, just uh, go to our Telegram or Discord, or you can also find the links uh, over our over on our website. Um, and then under information, uh, you can find everything you need and right. yeah just just ask your questions before doing anything because i see uh, people still doing stupid things just ask first you know uh, don't rush and it's really a long-term project uh there is really no reason to rush um take a few days uh, whatever yeah and are you guys open to coming on more streams and and uh sharing this information, doing some more AMAs in the community of YouTubers? Yeah, sure. I, I hope uh, I inspired some uh, people and I'm I'm really happy to join uh, at more talks, uh, more, um, we have more people's channels, um, be around, uh, show my face. Um, yeah, and, and thank you for being the first uh, Pulse YouTuber uh, covering Carpe Diem. You got it. That's it. The, the credit goes to Hex Clips because he is the one that has been feeding me some cool information. And uh, yeah, I, I, anytime he clips any of our uh, tech talks, I'm always honored. So thank you very much to Hex Clips. Yeah, so uh, as, as a uh, thank you, uh, if you want to deposit at uh, Carpe Diem Pension and you want to support Hex Clips, go to pulsepension.com. And uh, that will forward to his uh, mm. referral address, and you will help him by that. And that'll be his referral address, it's pulsepensions.com. Yes. Uh, pulsepension. Awesome. Pulsepension.com. Yes. Without S, yeah. Got it, got it. Cool. Uh, I think that's about everything we've got for you guys. Um, thank you very much for coming on, answering all these questions, showing your face, sharing the project. Uh, thanks for putting work ahead of, you know, the the sacrifice or uh, trying to get the money because it's yeah. uh it's not easy to build something and get it audited without you know to bootstrap it i should say and there's uh, yes and, and i i must really uh thank left for it because he is such an honest and kind dev uh it's it took me a long time to find him um i have I worked with many developers in the past and many of them have scammed me basically. Uh, so uh, when I found Lev and he is doing really honest stuff, he does not really care about the money in the first place, uh, which most of the devs do. So uh, that's also very generous of him. And he also did a lot of work voluntarily, voluntarily for us. Uh, so that's yeah I, I really want to thank you uh, on the stream 
yeah, it's all right. It's my pleasure, really. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, both uh, both the money is like human relations uh, for me in this space, and yeah, I think uh, fun to be very important with you. Um, yeah, thank you guys for hosting us. You know, because we're a small project, you know, and it's really nice uh, getting some uh, lights of attention. Um, yeah, yeah, that's it. And, and I don't really know if you guys. It have watched tech talk to the end before but we like to do something called the awkward wave goodbye so i'm going to throw some music on here and i want you guys to wave as awkwardly as possible to the camera for our outro you guys ready let's do it yeah. all right here we go Awesome. Thanks for uh, right. thanks for indulging me. You guys have a great day. Well, uh, thank you so much for everyone in the comments. You guys are great. You guys asked some really good questions. So thanks for being here, and we'll catch you on the next Tech Talk. All right.